हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डे एट्थ ऑफ जून लीड कोड चैलेंज एंड टुडेस क्वेश्चन इज कंस्ट्रक्ट बाइनरी ट्री फ्रॉम प्री ऑर्डर एंड इन ऑर्डर ट्रेवर्सल इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन प्री ऑर्डर ट्रेवर्सल एंड इन ऑर्डर ट्रेवर्सल ऑफ अ बाइनरी ट्री वी नीड टू डिटरमाइन द कंप्लीट बाइनरी ट्री हाउ वट वॉज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द बाइनरी ट्री एंड रिटर्न इट्स रूट सो द क्वेश्चन इज अ रिवर्स क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन प्री ऑर्डर एंड इन ऑर्डर ट्रेवर्सल एंड वी नीड टू रिकन्स्ट्रक्ट दिस कंप्लीट ट्री there is an important constraint that is given in the question which is which says that all the nodes that are there in the binary tree are unique that means the values won't be repeated across the tree without much ado let's look at the presentation that i have created for this and let's get started with it read code 105 construct binary tree from pre order and in order traversal when we say we want to perform pre order traversal on a binary tree we go to the node first then to its left child then to its right child info left right is a format for pre order traversal and in this example it is given to us as 3 9 20 15 7 with respect to in order traversal we first go in the left uh, child then the current node then to its right child left info right is a fashion in which we traverse the binary tree when we want to move in a pre order in order fashion we'll start creating the the tree in the pre order fashion itself so we I, i'll create a pointer starting to the zeroth index of the pre order traversal and we know that the first node will act as a root of the complete tree because pre order traver in pre order traversal we start from the current node first which in the tree would be the root at the starting position so what we are going to do we'll create a new node with value 3 in it and then we'll try to search for its index in the in order traversal of that tree if it exist then we return its index position so at what index does this does this value exist it if it, it exists at the first index now we can for sure say that the, this part would act as a left side of that tree the left child of that tree and this complete part signifies the right child of the current node we will construct the tree in a pre order fashion starting from the zeroth index since we have already assigned a value uh, to node with value 3 we'll increment the pointer for the next iteration and from the in order traversal we know which sub part of the in order traversal we need to process for the left child we need to look at only this particular part as a result of which what we are going to do we'll search for the position in the in order tree for on this particular part and here we know that we have only left with the single child so we will assign 9 to its left child being the leaf node let's continue the process uh, next we ha- next we'll increment the pointer for the further iteration and the pre order pointer will point to 20 what we are going to do we'll now fill in the right child of node 3 and let's assign 20 to its right child and we'll continue the process for the 20th node so uh, it will have we'll search for its in order index value and it will return us 3 we'll continue the process on its right left child and right child so this is the left part of node 20 and this is the right part of node 20 we will continue the process for further iterations and the pre order pointer will point for 215 for the next iteration and we will see its position in the in order traversal it only has one node so we'll assign 15 to its left part and next we'll fill in for its right child the last node is 7 in the pre order traversal and it is it is it has only one node in its uh, right part therefore we'll fill in 7 here and we are done with the process now let's look at the coding part it's a simple logic that i have written and it's exactly same to what i specified here so moving on to the coding section and here in the coding part the first thing that i have done is to create my root node that will actually store the root of my uh, constructed tree i have created a global pointer that stores the index 
of the node that I am currently processing in the pre-order traversal. If my pre-order dot length or in order dot length happens to be zero, either of the case, I simply return null. And in the next part, I am creating the tree. I am passing the pre-order traversal, the in order traversal of the tree, the starting index of the in order traversal, the ending index of the in order traversal. Why are we only processing on the range of in order traversal? Because if you look at the presentation carefully, then we you will see that we are actually reducing the range of the in order traversal for further iterations in the recursion tree. So let's continue the process. Uh, let's understand the built in helper method. It has four parameters in it. Pre order traversal array, in order traversal array, start index in in order traversal end index in in order traversal as a base case i have written in case the index in pre order traversal value turns out to be greater than equal to the length of pre order array i simply return null one of the corner case and otherwise i will create a node in the tree with value held at index in pre order variable using the pre order array a new node is created created and then what we are going to do we will check its position in the in order traversal array using the start index the end index and the value that we need to search so let's look at this helper method it accepts the in order traversal in order array the start index where we need to search from end index where we need to search up to and the node value that we need to search we start from the starting point go up till the ending point and in case the current node value is equal to the number the expected number we simply return the start pointer otherwise we return minus one in case the index in in order returns minus one it signifies the no that the node should be null and we simply abort the process without even go going further and return null from it also we increment the index in pre order to the next to a one higher index for the next iterations to happen and uh, here we assign the left child of the new node that we created uh, and we pass the pre order traversal array the in order traversal array the starting index of the in order traversal and the ending index get, got updated to the index that we found out in the in order traversal minus 1 similarly for the right part here is the only caveat it starts from index in in order plus one goes up till the ending point of the in order traversal and in the end you simply return the new node let's try this up accept it i hope you liked today's session if you liked it please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching it have a great day ahead